Finally, some kind of sibling interaction. Hey, with some bites, this is Kakujo. Welcome back to our Tamagotchi daily vlog. This is day six. And for those of you who are familiar with Tamagotchi, day six is when you, the, the Tamagotchi starts to, it's a slow decline into death, or these days it's, you know, leaving, which I, don't, I honestly don't know which is worse. So when Lily's Tamagotchi, re, Music Star 1, left her, she was really torn up about it. She, she like, cried about it, and then, like, the next day she cried about it, and she kept talking about how it had left, and it, that it hated her. And so, I, I guess that's kind of it. When they're dead, they're dead, and you should feel bad about it, and you can lament it and stuff, but you gotta be a pretty sympathetic person to give, you know, much care to that beyond, like, a little, a little while. But knowing that they're out there, doing their own thing, and just hating you? I guess that's just, like, a real parental struggle, you know? That, that's, like, a fear, I, I guess, a lot of people have. But, uh... This is just my memory of the Tamagotchi P1, like the first generation, in regards to uh, them leaving anyway. Because I remember if you got them up to age 10, like that was either impossible or just extremely impressive. They they get, they hit this point where they just leave eventually, so I don't really know how long these guys will last. I'm not sure. I'm sure you noticed they're different now, didn't you? Our eldest was previously Shielchi, and now they are Potechi, that's the one in the center. The, um... See, the one on the right is Love Zukinchi. That's actually a smart type Tamagotchi, and I'll explain that in a minute. And then we got this popcorn. You can't really tell where the hell you go. Stop switching places. It's a popcorn looking Tamagotchi. If you look at it, it's like actual, um, like character art rather than just the pixels. Because here it just kind of looks like this one Tamagotchi I used to have. I used to have a ton of plushies, by the way. I have this one. This one. I used to call it Fat Lips, and I used to have like 20 others, but I think my mom threw them in an attic and then sold them in a garage sale, which was, I'm... I'm a grown man, and I still haven't made my peace with it. Anyway, uh, so I was confused, because these guys evolved yesterday, and they didn't evolve into a full easygoing family like I was expecting. Now, it's I'm still not completely clear, and I'm not explicitly looking this up anymore because, like, whatever, I'm just going to enjoy Tamagotchi. I'm not going to Pokemon Ivy Eevee myself, okay? I'm going to enjoy this and not ruin it, but, uh, only two of these guys are easygoing. Love Zukinchi is a smart type, but apparently with blended families, it's impossible to get three of the exact same type. You only get a pure, smart, or easygoing, or cheerful family doing something else. You got you got to marry, like, two easygoing Tamagotchi, two cheerful, two smarts, and then they make a bunch of smart babies or or something I don't know but uh, now that they're adults if we wait I think a minimum of 48 hours we can send them into the love matchmaking thing I haven't even tried it as of now but I think they said if we try it now we're just gonna get a frowny face dating show do it look at how mad she is they recorded a shot of a television show of her being angry so that we could play it to you if you don't have it on demand properly. We put in the order, but we ain't got HBO yet. We gotta wait till the guy comes out between the hours of right now and 30 years from now. And then maybe we can get married. But when they get married, uh, I think they said we get three choices a day. Three choices a day of who to marry, and I believe it's still, once again, the oh, only the eldest that gets to do anything. Which sucks. Um, I was looking up the growth chart though, and I, at first I was freaking out because I was like, "Oh no, these are all like lowest on, on the lowest tier Tamagotchis." Like, did I mess up? Did it, did I do a bad thing? And but no, it's this one isn't about how good of a care you took care of it. It's all about that bonding level, which we have a fifty percent bonding. Fifty percent. Uh, if you get it, if I think zero to thirty or forty percent is low. And then there's the middle, and then, you know, 80, 70, or 80 to 100. 80, I won't say 80 to 100 is high. And low, medium, or high is what determines... I keep bumping the freaking camera, I'm sorry. It was what determines which time they got you get. So, um, it's impossible, really, in the first run, unless you save up all of your gachi and just happen to get in the store available. One of those items that boosts bonding, I figure out which ones they are, and I'm saving for them right now, because right now I have, like, 2,000... Yeah, 2,230 gachi. Uh, but there's these, there's a couple things out there. There's a couple things that you can buy that actually does increase bonding, but they're pretty expensive. Uh, the one I want is this golden poop thing, and it costs 5,000, so I'm saving for it, and when I see it, I'm grabbing it. And every time you use it, 0.3% increase in bonding. So that means the next generation, I can finally get Kuchipachi. I can finally get Memechi or Mamechi, any of the good ones. See, the game's trying to trick me, but making me buy chocolate. But I'm not gonna fall for it. Alright, before we go, because I believe 
the real fun starts not tomorrow morning, but the next morning. We'll do the marriage stuff, because that'll have been a full 48 hours plus that we can, dang it, that we can, you know, start matchmaking them. But wait, anyway, yeah, I got a paint thing. You have no idea how certain I was that this was going to be a bonding thing, because look at them. See, if that doesn't bond to you, there's just something wrong with you. You know, I... Nothing. Still just 50%. So anyway, Potechi, Mukugechi, and Love Zukinchi. They're awesome. I, I'm so happy to be in the adult stage. There's something just so nostalgic and yet also accomplishing about the adult stage. I mean, Tamagotchis are probably one of the easiest things to take care of for a, you know, a person like me. I, 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 they're logical. They, they're not really unpredictable. You give them what they want and uh, you, you give them a certain number of things at certain times and they're, and they're good and they're happy and you can feel great. I, when I was a kid... I used to think that playing Tamagotchis and liking Tamagotchis meant that I was going to grow up to be a very nurturing person. I would be a, a great kind of, a parent kind of person. And that's not necessarily true, though. Because children, real people aren't like this at all. And I, I think that's just like maybe a, a masculine kind of thing to be able to just be like, Oh, you're hungry, you're unhappy, uh, you're undisciplined. Here's food. Here's, we'll play this game four times. You know, here's some discipline. And then they're good and they grow up into the best thing possible. And I, th I think that misled me, because <laughs> real, real, real child raising is so freaking hard. Uh, that's all for now, though, folks. Enjoy Tamagotchis while you can. I mean, I'm still enjoying them, so I beat the system. Woo! Bye.